Welcome back to Cocktail Camera, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be talking about using inexpensive and cheap ingredients to fake making cocktails or whiskey. If you've dabbled in beverage photography or more specifically cocktail photography, you will soon find that it's kind of expensive to make cocktails. Not everyone has a wall full of spirits behind them. So several people have messaged me and asked, like, what are some tips for faking cocktails or faking whiskey and other spirits for photography purposes. So first off, I actually haven't really experimented much at all with faking cocktails or spirits. So I'm very much trying this out in real time as I film this. So I have a few things that I've heard people have used just from other product and beverage photographers. So we're gonna try those out, see how they work. Uh, for me personally though, when I am doing a lot of beverage shoots and cocktail shoots, uh, as you can see, I do have the luxury of having a lot of spirits and all of these different products to choose from. But generally when I'm just making drinks, for a shoot, uh, you know, I'm not using my nicest whiskey or cognac or tequila or whatever. I generally am using, still using a spirit, still using the real thing, but I prefer just to grab like an inexpensive bottle of whiskey, like I'm talking like a $12 bottom shelf bottle. Uh, I also kind of have this, what I call my, my dump bottle. Like uh, when I have nearly finished a bottle, I will pour, you know, maybe the last like half ounce three quarters ounce into this. So this is kind of this crazy mix of a bunch of different brown spirits. And then I just kind of keep it to use for photo shoots. However, I understand that some people may not want any alcohol in their home or studio, even if it's just for photography purposes. Uh, others of you may simply want something even uh, less expensive uh, since you're just using it for photos. So the two products that I've been personally recommended to by uh, most product photographers or other beverage photographers is soy sauce and kitchen bouquet. Now, these are mainly gonna be used for imitating a brown spirit, so whiskey, cognac, aged rum. Now, of course, for imitating a clear spirit like gin and vodka, not as much of an issue here because you could really just use water. So what I wanna try first is if soy sauce or kitchen bouquet can imitate uh, like a neat spirit, so like pouring some whiskey into a glass uh, or even a cocktail that is served, stirred down like an old fashioned or a Manhattan. So I'm gonna try uh, kind of diluting both of these with water, see what we get color wise, and maybe we'll try pouring it over some ice, uh, putting it in a cocktail glass and see what works for us. So I have two measuring cups here. Each one has about a cup of water in it. Uh, and I'm going to, Let's start with the soy sauce. See how much we have to add here. To kind of get it to look like whiskey. All right. As you can see, I'm not being super precise here. I'm just kind of pouring until it gets a nice amber color that looks kind of like whiskey. And then normally if you're, you know, trying to imitate like an old fashioned that usually, you know, has whiskey in it as well as some bitter. So it's usually a little darker than just like a pour of whiskey would be. Uh, now let's try some of the kitchen bouquet. I've never really, ooh, that's really dark. All right, uh, that looks already like a lot darker than the soy sauce. So if I wanna lighten that up, I might have to add more water to it. This is the kitchen bouquet seasoning and browning sauce. A little goes a long way, it's definitely darker. And this one is the soy sauce. Uh, I put a, actually a good amount in, uh, but it's not, not too dark. It seems to just catch the light a little better than the browning sauce. All right, let's test these out here. I have a couple big cubes. These are from PDX Ice. This isn't sponsored at all. This is just a company that always gives me my flawless, beautiful, clear cubes for cocktails. So always when I'm using clear ice, I take the cube out of the freezer, put it on my cutting board, leave it out for a minute or two just to allow it to adjust to the temperature. That way when you pour liquid on it, it's not going to crack on you. So with our big cubes in the rocks glasses, we're gonna pour our kitchen bouquet and soy sauce whiskey, see how they look. I'm gonna do the kitchen bouquet first. Let's pour that on there. Now we've got our watered down soy sauce. 
also looks pretty good. Now you can see just on video here, neither of these look bad, uh, especially with the clear cubes in there. Clear ice just kind of makes everything look pretty, but it definitely looks pretty good to me. It looks like it's whiskey. As you may have realized though, capturing a beverage on video versus photo can be different. So I do want to do a really quick photo shoot here, get out a photography surface in a strobe and see how they photograph. All right, fam, pretty simple set today. We basically have a makeshift table, a couple sawhorses, an Ericsson surface. Uh, I have a 1200 watt strobe with the modeling lamp on right now. Uh, this is, I think, a 12 inch by 12 by 56 inch strip box. Uh, and then I just have a black V-flat flag to kind of flag off some of the light. So there's a nice subtle shadow around the glass here. I'm going to be shooting with my Sony a7R4. I have a Sony 100 millimeter lens on. I'm gonna shoot from this direction, shooting down at the subject from a 45 degree angle. Got another tempered clear ice cube here. Throw that in our glass. Right, first let's add some of our soy sauce. I want like half of that cube kind of sticking out. Uh, I have my lens on F8, so fairly closed down aperture so that I can get a lot of the details in focus. Shooting at one over 250 for shutter speed and ISO at 100. My 1200 watt strobe I have at one over 16. I put it up to one over eight here. It's looking really good. I'm getting some nice glow in the cube, just in that glass there. I mean, honestly, that looks like a glass of whiskey to me. All you need is a little orange twist on that, and that looks like an old fashioned. So soy sauce, kitchen bouquet, both worked very well for imitating a glass of whiskey or like an old fashioned cocktail, both very similar results. However, the reason that I prefer to use real spirits, like I mentioned, using an inexpensive whiskey or an inexpensive gin for cocktail photo shoots is a lot of my images are in motion. They're pictures of cocktails or people making cocktails. And the thing is the texture is different from a spirit. A texture difference obviously does not matter when you're just taking a picture of a finished cocktail still life on a tabletop. But if you are taking a picture of, you know, pouring whiskey from a jigger into a mixing glass or pouring a spirit out of a bottle, you can tell the difference when it's moving, when it's being poured between water and a spirit. Here's a photo that I did a few years ago of pouring gin into a mixing glass and I caught the liquid as it suspended in air before it hits the glass surface. And as you can see, it just has like this liquid ribbon look, but I've never tested an action shot or a pouring shot with diluted soy sauce or kitchen bouquet. So might as well try it out, see how it holds up compared to whiskey. I have my mixing glass here. I have my jigger for pouring the spirit or the soy sauce into the glass. My camera is set up here. I have a little remote shutter so I can fire it while I pour. And then the same 1200 watt strobe kind of over here to the side, which will be backlighting the action. And then a white bounce card to fill in some shadows. I'm gonna start with some diluted kitchen bouquet. I'm gonna see how that works. Just taking a bunch of very quick rapid fire shots using my remote shutter. Just rinse this out. Now I'm going to do some cheap whiskey here. See how these photos compare. Well, to be quite honest, these were not the results I expected. Honestly, the difference between pouring a spirit and the diluted kitchen bouquet or soy sauce were very minimal. Even for someone who's kind of OCD perfectionist like me, I can't really tell the difference very well between the images. So honestly, I was expecting it to be much more different when it is in motion like that. So 
Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should be using soy sauce and kitchen bouquet for shoots. Anyway, thanks for joining me in this fun experiment. Hopefully it inspired you to get creative with photographing beverages and cocktails. As always, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.